what's up everybody it's your bro super bro zulfi welcome back to another video today it is august 5th 2024 and nintendo decided to come out of nowhere today and drop a brand new trailer for the legend of zelda echoes of wisdom and it's surprising how close this game's release is it comes out september 26th 2024 which is next month because it is now august crazy but what we're going to do today is we're going to do a live reaction to the trailer. I usually don't do live reactions to trailers unless it's like an overview trailer because it's usually more lengthy and they're going to be talking about a lot of stuff in it. But as you guys are about to see, this is no ordinary trailer. This trailer is about six minutes long and usually game trailers are about two to three minutes long. So I feel like there's going to be a decent amount of information here. All right. So I got Nintendo's page open here. You can see four hours ago it dropped, has about 419k views as of this recording, and it's five minutes and 55 seconds, so basically six minutes long. And the title of the trailer is The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom Traversing Hyrule Trailer, Nintendo Switch. So it's going to talk about how we get around on the map. So this is very interesting, so I wonder if it's going to be like very open and you can kind of go anywhere and it's not loading you into different like sections how you know past traditional top-down zelda games have operated so this is going to be interesting let's dive right into it and see what they have to say hopefully you guys can hear welcome to hyrule a vast land where princess zelda will journey through her grand adventure a tour of hyrule Hyrule is a land of plentiful abundance. From the central plateau, where Hyrule Castle stands enfolded by its castle town, to the outermost reaches, you'll encounter new and interesting people in each of its diverse regions. I like how far you can the see Garudo back. The Desert consists of scorching dunes as far as the eye can see and is prone to frequent sandstorms. That's no problem for the women of the Gerudo tribe, though. There are many ruins full of mysteries here. And an oasis, a great place to relax. Very similar to Gerudo Desert Chico from Waters is home Breath of the to Wild. Some of Hyrule's most scenic waterways. It's also where you can find the Sea Zora and the River Zora. Oh, you can go under the water too. I saw a little tunnel under villages. the water. Oh, Though nice. They don't always get along. What could they be fighting about? Wonder if all four races from Breath of the Wild will be here. Lava flows dominate the Elden volcano region. That's what How it seems like it's going for. At the mountain's base. But you'll have to brave treacherous trails to reach There goes the, the Goron. Gorons. Those rocks may look delicious. Alas, they are not for Hylians. The Farren wetlands are a lush labyrinth of vegetation. This is like Farren woods jungle, from Breath of the Wild. A Deku scrub. Rumor has oh, it the, the Dekus are in this game. Nice. A sweet tooth. So the Rito are not in this game. To encounter people dealing with problems great and small. Keep track of quests by browsing your adventure log whenever you'd like. Okay, nice. We got side quests in Helping this game. people with their troubles is a big part of your journey. And wise heroes are often rewarded for their good deeds. Oh, look at the dog. Doggy. Travel waypoints. Is that like fast travel Objects points? Objects known as waypoints are scattered throughout the land. Okay. Once you've discovered one, you can return to it quickly by selecting it on your map. Okay, nice. I'm playing Minish Cap right now, and there's a similar mechanic in Minish Cap. Even with the benefit of fast travel, getting around Hyrule can prove challenging. At times like these, why walk when you can ride? Yeah, that's awesome. Gallop right over weaker enemies to send them flying. So you can ride a horse in this game as well. With ease. This Once was in the thumbnail of the video. Echo, you'll be able to call upon your trusty steed oh, that's so cool. The and there's different kinds of horses too. The first one we saw was brown, now it's a white horse. As you explore, the traditional you Zelda horse. Shops, manned by business scrubs. Here you can blend the ingredients you've collected into delicious drinks. 
Smoothies have different effects based on the ingredients you choose. They're sure to come There's a lot here. Travels. You can also equip outfits and accessories to enhance your abilities. Do they visually show? And to look fashionable. Oh, obviously. nice. That's cool. Oh, this game is so nice. It's charming. It's got this cozy vibe, this cute cozy vibe to it. Whether you're I like trekking it. over rugged plateaus, through winding caves, or other complex locales, creating echoes is key to success. But sometimes they may not be enough. A huge boulder like this cannot be learned as an echo, and your other echoes won't move it either. So what do we For do? Obstacles like these, Try has got you covered with the power of bind. Oh. Use it to make even a This is basically um uh, Zelda's movement. That ability from Tears of the Kingdom can help you unearth or Breath of the treasure. Wild. Or I forgot which one it is. Oh, Ultra Hand. This is Ultra Hand. That's what it's called. You can also from Tears of the Kingdom. So get creative and find ways to forge ahead. Alternatively, if you want to follow a moving object yourself, you can use Reverse Bond to go where it goes. But it's a little bit different. Take advantage of a creature's ability to fly. Oh, so you just link up with it. So you lose control of Zel Zelda when you attach it to an enemy, but when you attach it to something bigger like the rock, you can move it off of like the path that's blocking. And you're bound to come up with oh, you you can actually ideas. move when you're bound to it. Use bind in combination with your echoes to overcome obstacles. Oh, never mind. Understanding how these so I guess you get to pick and choose. Will be you can choose to, to drag problems. the thing you're binded to, or you can let it drag you. Interesting. That's a cool mechanic. Wow. I didn't expect another mechanic like that to be in this game, Mysterious especially because you already have the echo cr creating ability. What else will Zelda have to contend with in her grand adventure to save her kingdom? There's only one way to find out. Can you actually enter that world? Like the Shadow Realm? <laughs> the Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Available September 26th only on the Nintendo Switch yeah, system. Yeah, a little over a month away. are available now on Nintendo eShop. Wait, what did they say? Pre-orders are available oh. now on Nintendo eShop. Pre-orders are available now on the eShop. I thought it said a demo is available on the eShop right now. Because I was like, okay, that's what we're doing. <laughs> but no, I wonder if they will uh, put out a demo for this game. I think maybe giving us, you know, the ability to play through like the opening of the game or just a little section of the game would be nice. They gave us a demo for Princess Peach Showtime. And I think that was pretty cool that they did that. Uh, they don't do it with all their games, but I feel like with this game, with its new mechanics, the fact that you're playing with as Zelda and not Link, I feel like it would be good and wise for Nintendo to put out a demo because there might be people that are mixed on the game and not completely sold. And maybe just being able to play as Zelda and test out her new abilities in a demo might win people over. They might be like, oh, this is fun and I want to buy the full game now. So, fingers crossed that Nintendo puts out a demo for this game. Um, but yeah, this is very cool. Uh, so, it basically showed off the the four regions. So, we're going to quickly just skim through this. But what I like here is that you can kind of see. I don't know if this was all here. But is this all added in? Because I don't remember seeing this the last time they showed this. Or maybe it wasn't. It just didn't notice. I thought it was just like the castle. But here you can see like... a. Uh, Big cliffs, like snowy mountains here, and then you can see like the volcano in the back with even like, looks like Goron City up here. So I'm not sure if all of this was in the previous trailer or this is just added in now. Um, but it, it kind of just goes through and shows off the different areas. So we have Gerudo Desert, <coughs> which was in Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom. We have Jabal Waters, which is kind of like, it's a new take on like Zora's domain uh, with the Zora. I like the design of the Zoro. They look cute. And then we have obviously the Elden area as we keep, oh wait, whoop, I skipped it. Right here, Elden Volcano. <laughs> so you got the Gorons here. Um, and then you have Farin Wetlands. So there's no like uh, Hebra region where the Rito are 
instead we are getting a Pharon area with um Deku's Deku scrubs shrubs Deku shrubs I think that's what they're called not not shrubs yeah shrubs not scrubs shrubs Deku shrubs <laughs> oh look at the pumpkin is that a pumpkin a purple pumpkin oh that's a vibe all right so it goes over those um, four areas of the game and then it goes into just talking about like side quests there's a lot of characters in this game that are going to need help that's awesome this adds a lot a lot of more hours into the game especially for people that are completionists and want to do everything you're going to get a lot of play time in here they seem like they're really filling it out with a lot of content which is awesome and then they talked about fast traveling so these little points right here act as fast travel Right now I'm playing through the Minish Cap and there's like these little wind shrines that you can teleport to or kind of like fly to using the Ocarina of the Winds. So this is very similar to that. So you can get from different points. You could just travel across the map really easily without having to um, trek the whole thing. Uh, and then of course, this was in the thumbnail of the video, but horses are in the game as well. I like this a lot. Right it looks very cute. I like this chibi horse. I don't know if horses were in like Link's Awakening or not, Once you learn to make but that's very cool. Echo, you'll be able to and it's awesome that you can like call it with a um, with a carrot, and you could call it from anywhere. So the horse doesn't even have to be like near you. It's just kind of like a summoning uh, tool, I guess. But then in Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, if you whistled right for your horse it had to be near you and if it wasn't then you had to go to a stable to get your horse but in this case it seems like you could just put the carrot out and summon your horse from wherever which is pretty cool i like that and it seems like you can get different types of horses because this one is white we saw the one earlier was brown so that's cool as well it seems like we can craft. There's like a crafting mechanic almost. like Or like just making smoothies that have different effects. Kind of like cooking from Breath of the Wild. Again, they're adding a lot of content into this game. I'm excited. That's awesome. It's not going to be just a simple game. It's going to have layers to it. Uh, and then obviously, you can also change your outfit and stuff, which is cool. And these outfits and accessories also give you abilities. But they also change your appearance as well. So I know a lot of people are going to have fun with that. Uh, and then I guess the rest of the trailer. Oh, yeah. Then it just shows us that Ultra Hand is back. <laughs> I like this. Ultra Hand was a lot of fun to use in Tears of the Kingdom. It gave you a lot of freedom, right? To interact with things. So this is just adding another layer to the combat and just puzzle solving as well. So you are going to have a lot of freedom in this game. Uh, the Echoes. Are going to give you a lot of freedom in solving puzzles but this too added to it so i'm really excited to see the type of puzzles they come up with and how people solve them because again it's not going to be just one answer to solve puzzles it's going to be like breath of the wild tears of the kingdom where you can do multiple uh things to solve the puzzles all right and was that it and then it was just showing us how that ability is used, where you can drag things that you bind with or the thing that you bind with can drag you. And that's what it's kind of called here. It's called bind. And then there was like a little tease at the end about the darkness or the shadow realm or whatever it's called. What else will Zelda she kind of she, she jumps into it so that makes me think like is kingdom. there a parallel Hyrule There's that we could traverse as well because wasn't that um let's go back real quick like this reminds me of I haven't played the game but link between worlds on the 3ds I believe it had two different versions of Hyrule it had normal Hyrule and it also had like dark Hyrule like a shadow version of Hyrule. I don't know what it was exactly called. I wonder if this game has a similar element to that. Where you have regular Hyrule. And then you can jump into this thing. And then maybe you're in a different type of Hyrule. It's just a theory. Putting it out there. But that would just expand the game so much more. It would be a lot. Um, but it could also just be you exploring little pockets. 
of the shadow area, right? Maybe some characters are stuck in there and you can jump into here to explore like a little section of it and save them and bring them back. Um, yeah. But yeah, I'm sold. I was already sold on this game. I'm sold even more now. The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Available September 26th only on the Nintendo Switch system. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. All right. So yeah, September 26th is the date. Which means we got a little over a month. Kind of like a month and a half left until this game. Actually more than that. <laughs> It, it, it's close to two months. It's a little less than two months, but it'll be here before we know it. Um, but yeah, I'm curious to know what you guys think about this game. Are you guys going to be picking it up on launch day? I'm definitely picking this up on launch day. I'll be doing a vlog on it as well, and we'll try to stream it the day it comes out because games nowadays are coming out on a Thursday instead of Friday. So Thursday is the day that I stream, so we're going to try to stream this game the day we pick it up. And then we'll upload the vlog for it as well. I'm excited. And also, if you've been staying tuned to the channel, you would know that we are almost done the Minish Cap. We got like a one or two more streams left of it. And then we will be playing Link's Awakening, which is a game that has the same art style as Echoes of Wisdom. So within the next week, we'll be starting our playthrough for The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. And we're going to be playing this game and hopefully finishing it by the time we get to September 26th. So that we'll be completely ready to go with Echoes of Wisdom. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to get ready to hop off now. Make sure you guys like the video if you liked it. Make sure you subscribe. It definitely helps the channel out. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace. It's been your bro, Super Bro Zulfi.